He's a half-orc paladin, she's a high-elf wizard, they have tadpoles in their brains, and now they, their friends, their lovers, their benchwarmer hangers-on, and their pets, are going on a wacky quest. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. You join us in the middle of Madcap dicking around in his inventory while Gabrielle runs off into town. Sorry, are you back in... You're back in frickin' Baldur's Gate now, aren't you? You'll yeah, you so are. Much you uh, are you fighting? No. I mean... Oh. So... You're the lick spittle who crushed the bone lord's thrall. <laughs> Have you come begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat his black hand can't choke the spit from. He'll find your weaknesses, stick a knife in the cracks and prize you apart. Unless you I'm get sorry, Orin, but you must smell really bad. When you find the Lordling, tell him Orin is watching. Alright, I should probably find you guys. Alright, you're not that far away from me, thankfully. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Oh, you're fine. You got this. And you're safe. Nat 20, do it. You've oh, let me okay. down again. Alright, uh... I'm well, that, that, was, that was a Nat. Almost. All right, I imagine you're out now. We gotta reload. One more. You got one more? Nope. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick save number one thirty-five. Incidentally. By the way, you don't want to know how long it took me to realize that Shadowheart's underwear is based on the outfits being worn by these Shar statues. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Oh no. Now I can't even see your rolls. I rolled 21. Well, you're not wrong. Uh. I need a bloody... Alright. What even... Throne versatile. Finesse. That's the... Uh. Guild robbers are used. Delmain is dead. This does not work well. There must be something. Welcome to Sword. Well, I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. Wait, where'd you get that headband? I said what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Dad. You sense there's more to his What's anxiety it do? than a few missing letters. Oh. Well, uh, one of the mixing letters is my own correspondence. Not the fuck. Something nearby is snatching them. You do that. Bring me the. Okay. Uh, we need to go get Gale. Okay. Oh, I'm getting Gale. Yes. We need a sign. Okay. I've, I've, I've noticed that by, by strange coincidence, it is always my love interest that gets traded out of the party whenever we need someone for plot purposes. Well, yes, because we only have one rogue. Yes, I, I got that. Uh, Scratch would like to talk, so I'm going to go talk to Scratch. Okay, good. And by talk to Scratch, I mean I'm going to go grab Carlac because she should have speak with animals. Uh, so do I. Oh, okay, you, fine, you go talk to Scratch. I'll grab Gale. Go Something's on my mind. 
or in toys with us where she could destroy us. Scratch. Whatever her motivations. Scratch. I hope she reveals them quickly. Yep. Anyway, party. Uh, I need you to join me. I'd be delighted. Those back in the. F uh, Gail needs to level up. Scratch is over by me. Yeah. 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 Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. All right, go talk to Scratchy Scratch. The dog is unable to speak He's through got the a bag again. Bag he holds. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Yeah, a good boy. That's a good boy. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I gotta level up, Gail. Whoop. Uh, okay. Which way to the nearest life? Uh, we have literally never used Gale. Oh yes, because he's redundant. No, I mean, I mean, we have literally never used Gale. Right. So this is gonna be divination for fate dice. Um, you can go ahead and get. Some random spells that might. Oh, yeah, chromatic orb. Grab that. Oh, and we need to reload. What'd you do? I thought so strong. You missed a really, really fun conversation. Okay, hang on. Uh, do yeah, my most recent save is the, the, roll? the dice rolls. Okay, we can go back to that. Okay. A few moments later. Alright. I level up all of the gales. So don't do any funny Astarian conversations until I get there. Because I have lots of gale leveling to do. So, yeah, divination for fate dice. Then he said chromatic orb and disguise self just because that could be fun. Alright, level three, you're gonna need more spells. Unsurprising. Um, good boy. Embiginate, because that's always hilarious, and hold person. You gain a cantrip for some reason. Uh... Detect thoughts and enhance leap. I don't freaking know. Cantrips, what the frick? Uh... Friends, feet, ability improvement, intelligence plus two. Thanks. Spells. Okay, now unfortunately I don't know what it, counter spell. Yes, and fireball. Obviously, Stow curse. Animate dead. Gaseous form. Glyph of warding. Hypnotic pattern. Alright, subclass, we got some sort of subclass feature here. Uh, an extra portent die. Right. Um, gaseous form, glyph of warding. Haste, yes. And also... Slow. Alright, new things. Banishment. Conjure Mineral Element. Yeah, do that. And then... Um, Wall of Fire. Yeah. All right, I, we're, we're, I'm at level eight now. I don't have that many more spells I need to pick. Feet. Uh, do you know any concentration spells? Uh, yeah, haste, actually. Hold up. Uh, so, yeah, you will need to learn Warcaster. There you are. And, and then uh, Dimension Door. That sounds useful. And 
Not Grand Flight. Not Fame Death. Uh, six to 48 to 64. Plants take maximum damage from this spell. Okay. Curse with a touch. Yeah, the thing about that. That could be cool. Alright. I think I gotta do one more. Spells. Okay. Uh, cloud kill. Neato. And... Telekinesis? Wall of stone? Conjure proper elemental? Sure. Alright. Gale is finally leveled up. Okay. I want to go talk to Astarian, and you probably want to listen in again because it's pretty funny. Yeah. And then I would imagine that I'm also going to have to like, decide which spells I actually want him to have prepared, but I'll deal with that later. It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer? Yep. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced, or because this group is full of weirdos! I'm going with weirdos. Alright, is that it? Yep. Alright, I gotta prepare Gale's spells. Uh, you know we don't actually need it. Well, you said we need him. We need him, we don't need his spells. Uh, that is what you think. What the heck is this? Counterspell? Yeah, you need counterspell and haste. Obviously, not detect thoughts. Give me fire. I actually, keep detect thoughts. And invigorate, that's great. Uh, mage armor, you don't need hold person. There you go. Uh, this you don't need hand sleep. There you go. Okay, cool. Uh, leaving camp? Yep. Alright, where are you all the way over here? Alright, where are we going? Oh, Gale actually has dialogue. Hold up. Refugee. I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. And I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. Okay. Um. You seem to be in a good mood. I thought you'd be more subdued after coming close to blowing up. Indeed. Under other circumstances, I might have been subdued or ashamed. But after what we saw, I must admit, I'm excited. The Elder Brain. More importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but for the good of the No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Okay, so why is the crown important? That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Citizens Sorceress own. Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Right, okay. Excellent idea. The only kind I have? Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery texts are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Right, okay. Okay, now I have Gail come over here and climb these knotted roots. Directly. Over... Please, Mr. So take the stairs down, and then in the, right before the second flight of down stairs downwards begins, don't get onto it, but like get onto the ledge on the left-hand side and jump up. Please, my son, he's only a boy. 
get onto the ledge that I was on before? Now go down the stairs. Go down the stairs. Oh, get onto this ledge. Okay. Sorry, I misunderstood. And then jump up. Uh. All right, let's see how far Gale Arena can jump. Wait, Gale has enhanced leaf. He's fine. All right, so what am I? I'm going up the stairs. No. I'm climbing. I'm climbing the knotted it. ropes. What's that? All right. I'm that having. Be like a winged cat. Gale specifically climbed this. Okay. Uh, yeah. There's a winged cat up here. Have oh. Gale talk to that I think cat. that's another trust. A word. <laughs> Tara! That can't be you, can it? My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Uh, what's your Tresim doing here? <laughs> she isn't my Tresim. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. Can you ask her to stop eating oh, pigeons? Right. Did you hear that, Tara? Um, stop it. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. That's what we need to get. Uh, for the ring of blink and some letters. Bundle of letters. Righto. Do you like Gail's hat? Yes. Wasn't Shadowheart wearing that for a while? No, Shadowheart was wearing a different hat for a while. So that's how we need Gail. Okay. Do we have a second magical staff lying around somewhere? Uh, I might. Hmm. Uh, yes. Alright, you want to slap it into Gale's inventory? I just did. Oh, fantastic. Uh, we got a ring of blink. Alright, you can have that, Mr. Gale Arino. And then this is morning frost. Hmm, lovely. Uh, what do I got? Exalted Mary. Yeah, I'm keeping that. And then caustic. Yeah, I'm keeping that too. And then I'll give this to Gale. Doing comedic acid damage is funny, and, and a crown of this to Gale. Ooh, bracers of defense plus two ar to armor class. Why yes. Now the thing is, if I give him this circlet, I have to give up his fancy hat. I'm not too sure about this, but fine. I'm going to keep Gale in the party for a little while because I don't get to play a wizard like ever. So I don't, I don't really know what they do. And it's like, ooh. I heard the stories. I'm the only melee character now. Hello, Meat Shield. Hi. I'm, I'm a very effective Meat Shield. With my checks notes, 134 hit points. Uh, thank the gods. All right. Missing letters. Dealt with. Alright. Alright, let's get into Baldur's Gate. That's a thing. Aren't you... I knew there was a story here. And there you are, the hero of the hour, walking right up to me. Mm, yes. The name's Lens. Reporter with the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? You, of course. News travels fast in this city, and after your exploits, you're quite the celebrity. This interview will be our biggest issue yet. Odd. It won't I take more than two one. moments of your time. If you play your cards right, this could make the cover. I just need some extra details. So, you've arrived at Baldur's Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this? Uh... None of your business? Uh... I've come to Everybody say... Everybody needs really? a rest from time to time. Even seasoned adventurers like yourself. I imagine you've a need to let off some oh, steam after your recent adventures in they the no Shadow-Cursed Lands. My sources tell uh. me you recently vanquished the fearsome General Ketherick Thorn. 
How did you manage that? <sighs> then consider this a taste of what's to come. You must be able to share something about Ketherick's downfall. I'm a journalist. It's my job to know everything. Mm. Unfortunately, the version I heard was light on the details. So what did you do to Ketherick? Don't worry. I already have everything I need. She seems so true. Oh! Frick's sake. Still rolling in the muck, I see. Don't I just see you? You think I can't sniff the secrets hidden in your pretty skull? What you seek, what you need. Gortash knows you are coming, knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. Yay. I want that ring. She's toying with me. What does she want? Uh, you are having this conversation, I think. By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Yeah, we can pay the entry visa. It's a mere 200. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. State your business. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. Yep, this is TSA. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen, you are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes, it has heard the howls of slaughtered goblins. It has seen the deep shadows of Grimforge and the stone floors left bloodied. It knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers and the cultists who fell there. The Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Please comply now, citizen. I will interpret any further hesitation as resistance. Do we get to kill an Iron Golem? You pile of junk! What? No. No. I wanted to kill an Iron Golem! Take heed. Are we running? We're just running through? What? We're just running past. Yep. I would have appreciated you saying something to that effect. Alright, go get Lazo. Uh, are we having another fight or do we need No, her? uh, Ketra's boss is in this hoarder. Oh, okay. Alright, hold up. I'm going to get Lazo. Orin, Skvah, a shivering... Yes, at any rate, you need to join me. You're full up. Just good. Okay. Look at you. You're exhausted. You've been pulling all nighters to keep watch. Okay. I don't think we're just nervous, but don't okay. worry. Oh, by the way, there's a uh, one uh, social, so you can teleport back if you want. Okay. Okay, let's talk to the... Forget your worries. To who? Yourself. This 
Manzel and Mira. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance, no decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh, yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip, she gives, you receive. Or have I misjudged you? Uh, mm. Can we not talk about this? Like, Lazelle's standing right here. Sweeting, are you blushing? There is no shame in pleasure, even less when the pleasure is pain. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. Right, yes. What? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go screwing around behind Lazelle's back or even in front of her. That just seems like a recipe for an easy death. Where are you going? Okay, I think Kiffer Cross is here. Yep. Okay. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you oh, ask. Oh, this is There is good. only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet. But to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Ah, uh, I feel empty. What did you I do? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. It can't hear us. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far, but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Uh... In a manner of speaking, 
but it's the one inside the prison that you need. Not the Illithid, the Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. The Orphic Hammer. An artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Uh huh. You really do think highly of yourself. My sights are set on something much more valuable than your soul. <laughs> Succulent, though it would be. I want the crown that dominates the elder brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the forgotten prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kalir. Ah. Oh. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting. And Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. Right. Ah. Uh... I am no mortal, and I do not fail. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Uh, how did they get it? Through the aid of a diabolist, somebody capable of opening a portal to the hells. Deep in the hells. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> 
but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. Oh, he claims his ambition him. is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? We can always kill him. We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Uh, Lazelle, I, I'm going with uh, Gabrielle's plan. So no deal? No, no, no. Yes, say yes. I may kill him. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. Why are you saying that? It's it's clearly not that simple. It is. Also, you get to hear awesome background music. I am going to save this because I don't believe you. Right here. You'll find everything is in order. The moment I have your signature, you will have the means to free Orpheus. The hammer. You guarantee the crown will be mine once the brain is defeated, and I swear that I will never use the crown to dominate a mortal. You're sure that this is the way to do this? Yes. Sign the contract. We can always burn the contract. I... Perfect. One more rhyme, for old time's sake. The master was slain within his own house. They dined on him both the cat and the mouse. The hammer is yours. You will find yourself in Orpheus's presence before the end comes. When you do, shatter the chains that hold him. Be sure to keep the hammer safe until then. Your survival depends on it. And I'll keep your contract safe in my house of hope. I'll be seeing you and when I do, we dine. The ink has barely dried, yet you feel a growing disquiet at what exactly you just signed. Perhaps a Diabolus can offer some comfort. Or a way out. For a devil's bargain is a hard one to break. Okay. And now go for I'd sooner have imagined shattering a planet with my bare fist than taking a deal with a devil. You're the one who told me to we do it. I regret the bargain, not for one instant. Raphael can have his crown if it means breaking Prince Orpheus free. Lazel, you're still a dumbass. Uh... <sighs> you're right to question. Sorry, I saw your creatures. suggestion like they a split second after I clicked it. To convince you a rock pile was mithril. Ask Will. He knows that better than anyone. But a broker is as bound by his contract as his buyer. The hammer must be real, or Raphael could never have the crown. Now, to the Charesse's caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. I, I am going to investigate the librarian's room because I have a story in Oh, okay. Uh, this is somehow worse. Uh, close out, close out. There's conversation going on. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. 
Ruh row. See, I could probably pass one of these with my fantastic charisma score. You, unfortunately, are in a spot of bother. Uh, would you like me to quick save? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it. So we just basically have to save scum until you get a nat 20? Yes. Cool. We can reload the previous quick save right before I sign the contract. And then I can try this because I do have a higher charisma score than you. Probably. Alright, you want to nope. do that instead? Yep. yep. Okay. I did not roll on that 20. Alright, cool. Uh, so we'll just do the. Uh, actually, it auto saved right here. So that's cool. I'll just. So, so I just have to run further out, yeah? Yep. Okay. Unfortunately, I have a feeling this is going to require us to repeat the conversation with Lazel. But that's not that big a deal. So I'm going to talk to Lazel first, speed run that conversation, then I'll take care of it. We shouldn't regret the bargain. Okay. Not for uh, one instant. Well, let's, let's hear the other one. Can have it. The prince will be suspicious. But he won't be reckless enough to turn on his liberators. One better hope. There'd be too little to gain from our deaths, and too much to lose. God, I now, love Lazelle. To the Charesse's caress tap room. We must tell Voss the news. I love you so much. All right, so I'm gonna head ahead now. Swift as my feet can carry me. Yeah, there we go. There you are. Okay. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Yes, uh, I was worried. Me too. It's concerning that something could come between us like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? Alright, what can I get here? I got performance plus three, deception plus three plus six. Okay, we're fine. This this isn't that's uh, still it's still a problem. Save. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Okay. Let's go. Boom! Whoa. Got it in one. And the situation is worse than I thought. And this if is it why thoughts, it's good to have a high charisma exactly score. What your intentions are, and it is already plotting countermoves to stop you. We must press on. I will bolster your mental defenses. Let us hope that allows us to regain some of our lost advantage before it finds you. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty awesome. Sorry, time to lockpick. Thank you. Okay, uh, can I pop back and see if Will has anything to say about deals with devils? Will? Yeah. Alright. I'm going go back to camp. Don't advance any plots while I'm gone. Okay, I'll just send you. Uh, Will, where's your camp, my good man? Oh yeah, he's even got an exclamation point above his head. Like, he knows that... <laughs> Like that I done a boo-boo, yeah. Men, women, children, all barred from entry. No, no, this isn't this isn't the conversation we want to have, Will. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Okay. Who would take in these souls, if not the jewel of Baldurin? As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. I would imagine, Step Will. Step one. Create an army and... Yep, okay. Gortash has a... Anyway, I want to... safe haven... We'll need to bathe Gortash and his ally. Okay, I'd like to actually have a convo with you about. Mm. As glad as I am. To there we have go. Yeah, this is the conversation I want to have. I'm not so sure a devil's deal was the way to go here. I hope you know what you're doing would be the trite thing to say here, but it suits the occasion. Uh huh. All right, well, that's all he's got to say about it. That was exciting. All right, I'm coming back to you. I guess I shouldn't have expected that much. See, this is Elminster's library? Oh, Gail has a really, really weird line when he ends up being like, Elminster's library? <laughs> People have weird tastes. I'm like, yup. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even sitting properly in the surgical bed. I'm just kind of like crouched on it. Is this his bath? I don't know that. This is my uh, Theon's uh, room. Oh. 
I think you mean, um... Liaison room. Alright, so we need to go back downstairs and talk to Voss again. Uh, hang on. I'm hanging on. It will when you met the trap. Okay, go in. Ready for combat? Uh, quick saving. Alright, I say that you want me to go in first. Oh, because of a combo. Hello. Uh, Tell me, am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dunes swept across the calendar. A Raj? I don't remember you who a Raj is. Are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Hi. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her. Heat. Why are we interrupting a tryst? What's What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait. I know you. Uh. I don't understand. What's... Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's oh. this woman? Gather. Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? You're kind of dumb, aren't you? Okay, combat time. Uh, ooh, I get to go first. So, uh, Lazel, can you just run up here and bash this guy? Yeah, I can. All right, cool. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Actually, hold on. on. I have this new sword. Idle. I have this new uh, thingy with which... How does this work? Uh, throw. Where's my throw button? Wait, there it is. No, improvise. That's not it. Where's my throw button? Am I being stupid? Ah, here we are. Yeah. Okay, my... Uh, this thing. Oh, wait. Uh, it has splash damage. So, yeah, okay, never mind. In that case, just run up here and... Yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, we quick saved, right? Okay. Hiya. What do I have to lose? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I uh, don't think he's going to survive two rounds. We're good. That was fun. To the prostitute. Okay, I save. Hells, I'd heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Yep. Your client is dead. I thought she'd be more Who? upset. Oh, yes. Jara. I will miss her coin, it's true. Though perhaps this is not what you meant. Free your mind of her. Let us look forward, never back. Okay, then. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens, and your heart skips a beat. The Starian's heart beats? 
If my innate desires make me disturbing, then I proudly claim the title. Take these. May you have some comfort in bitter times. Be well. Be be- Alright. Breathe deep and move. That was kind of aggressive for me. Uh, just waste- blew through two Divine Smites to kill the guy in a single run of combat. Wasn't really necessary. It was fun, yeah. Alright, let's go downstairs and the boss. Righto. Another- another round of the absolutely terrible multi-story camera. Easily the worst part of this game. Hey. I believe that's what he said. You paid Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about it. Yeah, no. Uh, Voss Poss, where the frick might you be? Uh, are for Gregio. What? Uh, oh. Uh, camera. What's up for discussion? Voss, friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Uh, I took the bargain. I'll free Orpheus at the first chance. The hammer? How can it be that you came to possess it? Was it Raphael? Oh, yeah, we probably shouldn't have mentioned that. The prince that. of the comet is not dead. The prince of the comet will come again. The prince of the comet will uh, liberate us from the Lich Queen's We probably shouldn't have mentioned that. Can it be? Will the mighty Prince Orpheus soon illuminate the astral plane? Gith's son will soon ride against Vlakith, Voss. And I will follow him into battle. And you will wield the greatest gift Mother Gith ever granted her dauntless children. A silver sword. I will carry it for the honor of Gith, the great liberator. And her unforgotten son. God, when she smiles. Mystic. I know now I just screwed up hammer, tremendously by telling the Emperor the about this, but prism. like once inside, smash Orpheus's bones, Zell smiling his is cry just... will shake the planes, Oh, you're saying important things. Sorry, uh, I got distracted in my girlfriend's the eyes. Of the comet will sear the heavens again. Let the Lich Queen tremble. Think again. I will not permit your entry. Uh, ignore the Emperor? Yep. Questions, Istik? You seem to be lost in thought. Uh, getting to the Astral Prism will be complicated. Yes, but you will meet this challenge, as you've met so many others. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name, but he will see reason. I promise you. All right. All right. Somebody's gonna have to give me their car. And it looks like that someone is... Okay, those are both terrible. Uh, what's actually funny is that the sarcophagus that I'm looking for is literally on the other side of this door, but because that door is not a door, I can't get through it. Sad. At least I'm not idling away my time on this planet. I kinda, I'm playing video games. Yes, I am. I am definitely idling away my time on this planet. 